Hello everyone, welcome to the Bonsai Expression, I'm Christoph, and today, as you can see, the sun's out, the shades have got to come out because I can't say a bloody thing, oh, typical, sun's just gone in, so let's keep the shades off, I can see something. Anyway, I've got a new camera, so I thought I'd make the most of it because this one's even better than the last one, and I thought I would try and film in 4K today to see just how good it is. Now the last one was 4K, but I didn't film in it because it took so long to upload. But I thought I'd give this one a go, because as I say, even better technology in it. So, let me know how this one looks, because if it looks great, I'll carry on filming in 4K. And if it doesn't look quite good, quite good, as good, here we go, here comes the sun, so shades have got to go back on, awfully sorry. So if it doesn't look quite as good, I'll have a go with the, uh, the little settings and see if we can get it as good. If not, I'll uh, drop the settings down a little bit, uh, go back to 1080, and then just... Um, Get it looking just as good as the last one but yeah please let me know in them comments anyway you're not here for me just to gab about the stupid technology of the camera we are here because them are some pots that are in the profile picture thumbnail picture and that's the one so these cool pots not just this one but this one not just this one but also this cool fish and not just this cool fish, but this one that's not actually in the uh, in a thumbnail. Now this one is made from bamboo. I had to pick it up because I thought a bamboo pot, and that's pretty snazzy. Anyway, I'm not sure what this was, um, but we drilled some holes in it. Now this is a cool pot as well. Not quite as cool as the rest of them, but I mean, just look at the detail. And it's on the inside as well. Now all I did was I went to my local charity shop and I think with these like a couple of pound, if not 50p. You, you, you can't get bonsai pots that cheap. And all I did was if you see, boo. I'm about to show you, you just drill a few holes and you've got yourself some awesome looking bonsai pots. I mean, I've just drilled them and, I, and I've even got crap still left on it. But, just check out these beauties. I mean, you get some awesome pots. So this one that I've just shown you, I mean, these ones I've got ready to go for some. Look at that. Some awesome ficus going in there. You can't really put your you know, your, your deciduous trees in these, but for ficus, they don't have to stand out. And this little fish one, I mean, look at that, that's, it's a koi. It's just absolutely unreal. So I picked them up for an absolute steal, as I say, just a couple of pounds, and I go to the charity shop, you donate into charity, which is always a good thing. These, these are for my local charity shop, which is support cancer research. Always a good thing, you're giving back you're getting something in return, which is a win-win for everybody. And uh, yeah, so I just take a diamond tip drill bit, I drill into them, I get myself some awesome pots. I'm awesome pots for my awesome trees. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Um, I might even do a little voiceover and then um, get yourself some cool pots. As I say, one of these are gonna go in it and I will do a video on that shortly. But um, check this out. Now the drill piece we're using is a diamond tip drill piece. So this is the one we have to use when we're using either tile or ceramics or pottery. If we use a normal drill piece, we are going to shatter the pottery or the ceramics. So diamond tip is what we have to use and uh, make sure we're using that one when we do this. So first of all, we're going to put it in the drill. And when we start the drill up, we are going to come in on a 45 degree angle. And we do that just so we can start getting a cut on the pot itself as it starts to cut in then we start moving it up onto a 90 degree angle and we're going to cut vertically down on it as you can see here it goes straight down and then that's where as it's cutting it will go straight down and it starts cutting into the into the pot and then we're just going to go straight in and we're going to cut that hole out we're going to slowly go in and as you can see we've already put a little bit of water in if we don't put the water in it's gonna get hot and that heat will uh, expand through the pot itself. And again, that can cause cracking or it can even shatter the pot completely. So the heat, the heat will dissipate through the water. So 
that is what we use the water for and um, the drill bit gets hot as well so the water helps remove that heat out so that's why i keep stopping as well i check on the hole make sure we've not gone too far or how far we've gone because uh, obviously i don't want to go straight in i need to make sure that i'm checking how far we're going i don't want to be putting too much pressure in and that i'm gonna i don't want to be pushing too hard uh, and slipping and then obviously me getting all the way through and then i'm putting too much pressure in and my drill's going to go tumbling straight onto the pot and i'm smashing the pot so every now and again i do check see how far i've gone in and make sure we're cutting in properly and also while i'm doing that i add a bit more water in so make sure you are checking periodically how far you're going in and adding that water in as well um uh, yeah it's pretty easy you keep doing it and at the end of it once you've done you just go in clean it up make sure there's uh, no shards you just lightly make sure you're wearing gloves as well i've got these uh, plastic gloves on but the, the shards are not very sharp um the diamond bit does its job cuts through quite neatly it shouldn't be any spiky shardy bits to cut your fingers or anything like that but i've just got gloves just in case and i just wipe it all away with the water and it comes away nicely and we just clean it all off properly at the end but yeah you should have a, a good good clean hole cut there for you and um yeah no dramas it's a good little way to have uh, some nice nice unique pots go get yourself some cheap pots from your local charity shop support the charities or it might even be called a thrift shop if you're over in the united states i'm pretty sure that's what they're called but anyway over here they call the charity shop support your local charities especially if it's cancer research or something like that something for a good cause and you get something back from it get yourself some awesome pots and put them awesome pots to use get your awesome trees of them they look just amazing anyway enough of my jibber jabbing i've got to go and make a proper video because this is just a nice easy one just to show you that you can get some really good pots for your trees for cheap you don't have to go out and spend some stupid money on a really awesome pot you can do it for cheap <laughs> anyways i will catch you in the next one thanks for watching everybody and if you've not hit that subscribe button please do so it helps the channel out and um what really really does help the channel out is uh don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell like and share this one to your friends because i'm sure they'll be interested in this one see you everyone thanks for watching